Well, I was going to talk about inheritance today, but, uh, yeah, why not? Okay, so what's up guys, it's me, Rollo Bomber, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Explain, and today, obviously, we're going to be talking about dry forms. Now, dry forms have only made an appearance in one Kingdom Hearts game, that being Kingdom Hearts 2, but has been recognized as one of the strongest mechanics Sora has ever used. Dry Forms at its core is meant to be a kind of power-up that strengthens one or more aspects in battle. Sora first gained access to Dry Forms from the special clothes he gained from Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether in the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2. Immediately we can see that without need for observation, by activating Dry Forms, Sora was able to change the color of his clothes and allowed him to dual wield. When Sora activates Dry Forms, he is first surrounded by a casing of light, which would then burst, which could also blow back enemies, and Sora would then transform. Now, what Dry Forms actually do is link Sora up with something to gain access to powers. By doing this, he can easily awaken his inner potential. Valor Form requires Sora link up with Goofy. By doing this, his strength and speed has been multiplied, and he can also wield Ventus's Keyblade along with his own because, again, he can access his full potential with Drive. His clothes turn red, and because he has so much power, his hands emit red electricity. Also, Sora becomes so powerful in this form that slamming his Keyblades on the ground causes a humongous shockwave that will damage anything unfortunate enough to be in his path, and his speed has also increased so much that he can double the amount of hits in his normal combo in the same amount of time and he also runs much faster. Wisdom Form requires Sora link up with Donald. His clothes turn blue, and while he doesn't use a second Keyblade in this form, Sora's magic capabilities have increased tremendously to make up the difference. Sora becomes so much more adept with magic, his feet emit magical energy that allows him to slide on the ground. When Sora is in this dry form, he is able to shoot magical bullets from his Keyblade in rapid succession. Limit form is a little different from the other forms. Instead of linking up with his friends, Sora links up with his past. By doing this, his clothes take the color scheme that resembles clothes that he wore in Kingdom Hearts 1, the clothes he wore in the past that he is linking to. While Sora doesn't emit any energy in this form, he can remember all of his old limits and abilities that he forgot in Kingdom Hearts 1. And not only this, but these limits also grant him healing properties. Master Form is a combination of Valor and Wisdom Form. It requires Sora link up with two friends, his clothes turn yellow and uses a second Keyblade just like Valor. By having this form, Sora exhibits absolute mastery over his ability to use the Keyblade. He attacks very fast like Valor form with two Keyblades and he exhibits incredible magical prowess like Wisdom. In one hand he physically holds his Keyblade that emits electricity like Valor and in the other he uses telekinetic powers to levitate the Keyblade kind of similar to Wisdom. Final form is Sora's ultimate form. It requires he links with two allies his clothes turn white, and he uses a second Keyblade just like Master and Valor. This form is meant to represent the pinnacle of Sora's powers and capabilities. Sora becomes so powerful, he can use telekinesis on both Keyblades, can levitate off the ground, so he is always floating, and can apply the Keyblade in almost any way to help him in battle. So while Master Form is meant to represent Sora's mastery over his use of the Keyblade, Final Form is meant to represent his raw power. Sora's power is so wild and set free, his Keyblade constantly protects him and will attack anything in the vicinity when he performs even the most basic of actions, even when it's just jumping, recovering, or landing. Sora is releasing so much power, his clothes emit a constant bright light across his whole body. But this isn't all of Sora's dry forms. Anti-form is meant to be a side effect of overuse of dry forms. Sora unintentionally absorbs both party members, not linking, but absorbing. His clothes, along with his skin, turn black and his eyes turn yellow. Sora enters his form accidentally due to the fact that he became a heartless and has yet to learn how to control the darkness in his heart. 
Because Drive Farms involved Sora linking his heart with others, the darkness in his heart could erupt and transform him. So obviously this form is meant to represent the dark side of Sora's heart. Because of this, Sora's mind becomes absolutely feral, and he walks on all fours instead of being bipedal. Also, instead of using a second Keyblade or gaining powerful abilities for the already existing Keyblade, Sora doesn't use any Keyblades in this form. Instead, he uses his claws and dark energy to attack. Sora's heart is emitting so much darkness that his entire body leaks out darkness. Now, just like all of Sora's abilities, he can master dry forms as well. However, they require him training a certain aspect of his abilities to master them. Valiform is mastered by attacking enemies with the Keyblade. By improving his own abilities to land successful hits with two Keyblades, he can master this form. Wisdom Form is mastered from defeating Heartless. By improving his ability to take out larger doses of Heartless, he can improve this form. Limit Form is leveled up from every successful limit he pulls off. By relearning his mastery of this technique, he can master this form. Master Form is improved from gathering Drive Orbs. By collecting Drive Orbs, his body learns to maintain this form. Final Form is mastered by defeating nobodies. It's essentially the same as Wisdom. He learns how to handle nobodies in larger doses. Not only this, but Drive Orbs also help Sora learn or relearn movement abilities. Valor Form teaches him High Jump. Wisdom Form teaches him Quick Run, a way of quickly covering the ground while dodging. Limit Form teaches you Dodge Roll, Master Form teaches you Aerial Dodge, an example of Sora's great mobility, and Final Form teaches him Glide. Now I will mention that Dry Forms do sorta of make another turn in Kingdom Hearts 3, but until I get to play the game, I can't give any detailed descriptions on how it works. One last thing is that because Sora is releasing so much energy when he transform, transforming automatically heals him and restores all of his stamina slash magic. Essentially, always putting Sora at 110% of maximum capacity whenever he transforms. Well guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope you guys rate, comment, subscribe. Look forward to the next Kingdom Hearts Explained video. Check out my Twitter and my Twitch. Share this with your friends. This has been Noir Lil Bomber, and I'm out.